While the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force continue to be vocal about the need for more officers, steps are being taken to improve upon the resources that are presently available, as officers are now undergoing speciality training in various areas from forensics to counseling. At a press conference held at the police headquarters, Police Commissioner Renald Fraser and Deputy Police Commissioner David Morris revealed that the force recently completed an in-service training program geared toward refining the skills of the officers. Commissioner Fraser explained that the training is twofold and it is conducted throughout all ranks to keep all junior, middle management and the senior officers up to speed. We recognize the importance of training in any organization and certainly the police force, the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force is no exception. It is important that we train our officers from the recruit stage um, where they go to Barbados for a period of six months, six months and when they return that we continue that training. And more importantly, retraining. And that has been ongoing, but we realize the importance of being more uh, robust, we realize the importance of being, uh, of having our officers up to speed, if I may say, not only your junior officers, but our middle management officers and also senior officers. And this is in fact what we have embarked on. Deputy Commissioner David Morris said that the police force has been able to send officers away to train in the areas of post-incident command training, civil firearms command training, forensic interviewing, the interviewing of children and adults, as well as several other areas that would benefit them upon their return to the police force. Over the last couple of years, besides uh, an extensive in-house training program, we've sent officers away to Bermuda to undertake post-incident command training. Uh, silver firearms command training. We've sent officers to Canada and the US for forensic interviewing and uh, interviewing of children and adults. We've uh, sent officers away to uh, the US and UK to undertake asset forfeiture and financial uh, uh, investigations training. Uh, this, this year we sent uh, the, one of our chief inspectors, uh, the last of our chief inspectors who hadn't done it, away to uh, the command course a uh, three-month command course in Jamaica, uh, two of our inspectors away to the junior command course. Uh, the Governor's Office funded for us one of our senior women inspectors to go on the female leadership uh, program at Bramshill in the UK. Uh, we sent uh, two officers away on a sexual offences training program again in Barbados and another officer to the UK uh, to Bramshill for sexual offences training where we also embedded him in a local force so that he would get experience of, of working with a local public protection unit. So as you can see, the, uh, you know, we're not just about training in-house here, but it's also about developing our senior staff across, across the organization. Two of our senior officers went away on the International Chief Officers Association conference last year, uh, and we're hoping to send another two senior officers away uh, on, on that this year, provided we can get the funding. But the Deputy Commissioner said that investing into the police force's staff has its challenges, noting that the price for training is high and the police force is limited by its budget. Several police officers had the opportunity to work along with the police force in the countries where they were trained, which gave them the exposure to situations that they may not necessarily experience here in the BVI.